One or more sections of blood vessel will be taken from the leg, thigh, or chest wall, and the incision at those points will be sutured and bandaged. Then your doctor will make a vertical incision in the center of the chest. Skin and other tissue will be pulled back in order to expose the breastbone. Your doctor will carefully divide the breastbone and a special instrument called a retractor will be used to hold the chest open. Once your doctor has a clear view of the heart, he or she will make an incision in the pericardium, a thin membrane that encloses the heart. Pulling the pericardium back will reveal the beating heart. Before the graft vessel or vessels can be attached, the heart-lung machine must be connected. A heart-lung machine takes over the job of circulating and oxygenating the blood so that your doctor will be free to stop your heart for the length of the operation. To connect the heart-lung machine, one tube is placed into the aorta and the second tube is placed into the right atrium of the heart. Once the bypass machine begins to circulate the blood, your doctor will insert two smaller tubes into the heart muscle. These tubes carry a special solution that helps preserve healthy tissue by lowering the heart's temperature. A clamp is placed on the aorta. Blood no longer flows through the heart and it can be safely stopped. To complete the bypass graft procedure, your doctor attaches the ends of the new vessels on either side of the diseased area or areas of the old coronary artery. Once the grafts have been completed, the clamp on the aorta is removed and the heart is allowed to begin beating again. As the temperature and the rhythm of the heart slowly return to normal, the heart-lung machine is disconnected. The pericardium can now be closed over the heart. Your doctor will position two special drainage tubes in the chest cavity. These tubes prevent fluid from building up around the heart during the healing process. The breastbone is then closed with metal wire. And the remaining tissue is closed with sutures. Finally, a sterile bandage is applied.